poppin' y'all? It's your girl Team Stacy, and I'm back for another YouTube video. And if you're new to my channel, hello. And if you're a returning subscriber, what's up? Alrighty, guys. So in today's video, we are going to be installing this long bust down unit guys i was so excited when they sent me this wig because i just love long sleek hair you guys know how i feel about my hair just being nice sleek and flat i just love that this unit is gorgeous i'm obsessed 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 but if you want to hear my detailed review on this hair and you want to see me install it you know because my install has been giving girl period definitely keep on watching all right y'all so we jumping right into it i already prepped my bod cap i did my little glue and spray if you guys want to see that let me know down below but let's go ahead and get into this unit guys i was so excited today we're working with all love hair and guys oh we about to eat you guys saw in the intro i'm just so excited so i'm just taking my foundation this is some cream foundation and i'm in shade 09 i'm just taking that putting that all over the wig and then i'm gonna go ahead and cut my ball cap okay i'm using a eyebrow razor and we are just cutting off the excess cap that we do not need we trying to give scalp we trying to give balls okay so we're just cutting her off purr like a bad friend <laughs> okay guys so after i cut off the excess cap i'm just gonna go ahead and take the same cream foundation and we're gonna rub that all over just so we can really give bald also you guys see i do my makeup guys usually i do my makeup after my video but as y'all see i'm moving a little fast this is real motion okay this is real time but i was moving fast because i'm going out which check out my pictures on instagram in this unit it's giving yeah but now we're just throwing this wig on she was bleached and plucked off camera i did record that but i lost all my content so i had to i wasn't able to re-record that but you know i lost all my content so here we are. I'm taking my favorite glue, and this is the Ghost Bond glue, which I'm running out. You see me shaking it, but I did go ahead and buy another one today, so that's okay. But I took that, we did a thin layer, and now we are just spreading this with um, the back of a business card. I did two layers off camera, because I don't wear my wigs too long. And now we're just gonna set this on the, the hairline. I don't want this video to be long. I really want you guys just to see how easy this install is. So I'm just making sure the front of the hairline is going right in front of like my, my cap. So you don't see my cap. This side, I could have pulled it down a little bit lower, but you know, we still body this hairstyle, okay? So after we have the wig placed where it needs to be placed, I just kind of did a little combing um, of, you know, just pushing the lace into the glue so everything is nice and you know stuck on there and then i'm taking my elastic band and i'm tying it real tight okay and while that's tied down i'm gonna leave that on for about 10 to 15 minutes and then i'm just gonna take my hot comb and we're just gonna comb it also i'm so sorry i never talk on the phone in my videos but y'all i was getting ready to go out i just knew this wig was just so bomb and it was gonna be so easy to install so i decided to install my wig last minute so everybody's calling me like girl are you seriously installing a wig and i'm like listen when a wig is bad you can't install a wig fast but when a wig is like this like when a wig is good it's not gonna take that long like we only four minutes in we deep into the hairstyle like i'm telling you it, this wig was a good wig and i just knew it so here i'm just taking my she's bomb wax stick and we're just putting that on the perimeter of the hair and then we are hot combing the hair you know making it look nice and neat I'm moving real slow with that hot comb, okay? My hot comb is on 450 degrees, and we're just making sure this is nice and smooth, and it's just giving scalp. So while we're hot combing, let's go ahead and just talk about the details of the hair. This is a 28 inch unit. This is a natural black. Um, I feel like it looks a little dark on camera, which I love that. I was gonna dye this hair jet black, but I'm kind of glad I didn't. I like the shade that it is. It's like a nice, dark, natural black. But this wig was just gorgeous. I'm in love with it. Um, it is on the more like sleek side, so a little bit thinner, but I really like that. I don't know. You guys know, if you watch any of my hair tutorials, I don't like my hair too thick. I like my hair to be nice and just like 
tameable. So this hair was just that. I took pictures in this wig and it looks so good. And I really want y'all to see that. But anyways, let's go ahead and cut off this excess lace. So I bring you guys closer so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. I'm holding the excess lace and then I'm also pushing back the hairline so I can get as close to the hairline without cutting it off as possible. So yeah, I'm just taking that razor and I'm just kind of doing zigzag motions to get this lace nice and cut off. Guys, look at that lace. Like, don't walk, run, go get this hair. Like, look at this. It looks so good. Like, oh my God, this, this lace, yeah. Uh-huh, this wig look good, girl. So next up, we're just doing our edges. Um, I'm just taking my razor and I'm cutting the hair in like an angled, you know, kind of slanted cut. And then I'm gonna take my half an inch flat iron and we are just going to curl under. I like to curl under when it's straight hair and then I like to curl up when it's long hair. Also, I curl my hair twice. I feel like that extra curl just really helps leaving the wig like the baby hair straight but curly, I don't know. Also, my lace was lifting a little bit on the side, which that happens with the ear tabs. I just took a little bit more glue and I'll let that dry down while I work on the other edges. But we're just cutting at an angle and then we are curling and we really turning the barrel nice and tight. Look how curly those edges are. That's beautiful. So I'm going to use um, my Got To Be Glue Gel. Um, but first, I like to kind of just mold the hair and see what shape I'm going for. And then I'll go ahead and add the gel to the edges. Once I add the gel, then we're just going to take my edge comb. And we are just going to just, you know, do kind of like a C-shape motion. And once we get the nice, you know, how we want it, then I take the brush and just smooth everything out. Next up, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and take my black spray. Don't be like me. You wanna use a rat tail, a thin rat tail comb to do the black spray, but I could not find mine. So I decided to use the back of a razor and it was so thick and it did not come out cute. But it's okay because I ended up just taking um, my foundation and just kind of fixing the part. As you guys can see, it looked way better after I fixed it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, guys, so that is the end of today's video. In today's video, I wanted to show you guys how I install this gorgeous long unit. It just came out so freaking cute and I'm absolutely, absolutely obsessed. I did go ahead and flat iron my hair off camera because I was in a rush. So I did go ahead and do that off camera, but it's nothing, you know, that you haven't seen before. I used the, um, the Remington flat iron, it looks like this. I believe this is like two inches. And then, um, yeah, I just used a hot comb to make sure the top was nice and flat. And this is what we're giving. I'm doing like a pushback look right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but guys that is pretty much the end of this video if you're interested in purchasing this unit for yourself definitely click my description box and there'll be some links in there some promo codes and all that good stuff so yeah that is pretty much the end of today's video i love you guys so much and i cannot wait to see you guys in my next video bye guys